Hello everyone, how are you doing? I am Marksman520 and I will be uh, playing some Europa Universalis Death and Taxes. However, um, as I explained in my last video, my game crashed at the end there. And as you can see here, I have an autosave back in 1420 because I think I set, I set my autosaves to intervals of like five years or something like that because... Um, I was playing as Inca, and the autosave was just very annoying when you had to sit there and wait. So, I did not get any saves in at all, so it's all gone. Um, so, I'm going to be starting a new one, and I'm going to be playing in 1356 instead of uh, the 1399 or the 1419, whichever one I picked before. Um... So here we go. It's unfortunate that uh, I should probably change my autosave interval to uh, like a month or something every month. Um, so, game options. Um, where is it? I forgot where it is. It's not there. Five years, yeah, see, it's autosave every five years because, you know, I'm stupid. Um, so, we have rebels down here. Greek, what is that? Greek patriots, ooh. Leave me alone. Alright, so we got a nice mission here by the looks of it. Um, reassert our rights, our rightful claims on Bosnia and Hum. That would be these two provinces, so pretty much free Castus Belli against Bosnia. Let's just do that right now. As we got 12,000 soldiers, so they're like 3,000. I don't think they're allied with anybody, are they? Um, Conquest Castus Belli on Croatia. Member of the Venetian Trade League. Views Montenegro, Transylvania, Croatia, Ragusa as natural rivals. Feels threatened by Serbia, Croatia, Austria, Transylvania. Has mission to get access to the sea. Unfortunately, you're never going to get access to the sea. We did take a stability hit. We probably shouldn't have right off the bat. It's not like they're going to get too powerful. But I want to do it before they get an alliance. Because they might like sneak an alliance with like uh, Croatia. Are they independent? Um, no, they're, they're still in Union with Hungary. So they might have, I don't know, got an alliance with Hungary or something. Uh, in which case we wouldn't be able to touch them. Because we couldn't fight Hungary. We shouldn't need a general. It'll cost extra money to put a general I don't think we start with one, do we? It'll cost, like, stuff to have one. We shouldn't need it. We outnumber them so much that we really shouldn't need a general. Um, so our advisors. Let's take a look at what we got. We got diplomatic skill, inflation reduction, um, stability cost, army tradition, compete chance. Uh, let's go for some inflation reduction. Because I know we're going to accumulate some inflation. And what else do we want? Prestige? I don't know. Maybe prestige. Um, national revolt risk? We don't really, we're not going to really have a national revolt risk. Not too high anyways. Legitimacy? We don't need that. Diplomatic skill? We can get um, a better one if we needed it. Actually, yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's get uh, diplomatic skill. Oh, jeez. It costs a lot of money. Um... And army tradition for now. That seems good. Um, we're losing four a month. And now we're gaining almost two a month. And we should be pretty much good on everything. Ooh. We're an empire. Yes. Which gives us uh, 10.6 years between policy change. We get plus 0.6 magistrates and plus 2.5 morale to our armies which is always always appreciated so we'll start going here in time the Ottomans have declared war on Trebuzon now in this campaign the Ottomans are very very small they are like no problem at all I can't really show you with all this stuff in there so let's see Georgia and someplace I can't pronounce uh, Muscovy and Ryuzon are at war Mentise has declared war on Armenia 
The Mamluks have declared war on Armenia. Uh, the Hafsids have declared war on the Ziganids. Um, and no. So the Ottomans are like really, really tiny. I don't know if they even have any allies. They don't, they don't have any allies by the looks of it either. So they're really insignificant, and I'm pretty sure in this uh, time period that the Ottomans will probably never become powerful ever in the game. Because they just don't have the resources for it. Byzantium has declared war on Bulgaria. Uh, Mentis, the Knights have declared war on Mentise. Lithuania has declared war upon Mazovia. Brittany has declared war on Provence. Or Provence. Uh, Burgundy has declared war on Bar. Brandenburg has declared war on Pomerania. Aragon has declared war on Navarra. Castile has declared war on Aragon. And the Golden Horde have declared war on Georgia. So I'm trying to see, what do we got here? We've got a royal marriage from Achaia. Achaia. Sure. I don't, I don't really plan to invade Greece too much. Uh, royal marriage with Achaia. They're here, so I could gobble up these guys, though. If I really wanted to. Oh, shit, we got rebels down there. Uh, we can deal with them later. Actually, we can uh, build up an army, I guess. Poland and Lithuania are at war. Kandir and Irit needs are at war. Uh, what's our force limit? Force limit is 12. We're at our force limit already? We started our force limit. All right, we'll take care of Bosnia and then those those rebels. I mean, we'll we'll let them we'll let them do their thing for right now. I completely forgot about them. I should probably dealt with them before going to war with Bosnia, but I really wanted to uh, go to war with Bosnia before they could forge an alliance with somebody that would really stop us from really be able to uh, to make us think twice at least about going to war with them. And so I really want to uh, get that done as soon as possible. We can always take care of them later. So we got royal marriage from Naples. We'll take that as well. I want to stay on good terms with Naples. They're right here, I believe. Uh, Teutonic Order and Lithuania are at war. So we should have no trouble with Bosnia at all. But what I'm really worried about is those rebels. Because they have... Ten they have, uh, 10,000 soldiers. Oh, wait, shit. Detach Siege. So they got 10,000 soldiers, so I'm a little worried about that. Just the sheer numbers. We're definitely going to have to get a general when we go to take care of them. And we're also not going to really be able to take care of them too much before, uh, completely ending this war with Bosnia. Actually, I need to uh, do this a little smarter. Cavalry can't siege, so we'll get you guys out of here. Alright, now what's left? Now we're going to split you guys in half. Send half here. Hopefully that should get the sieging done faster. What we got here, we got... Auto save. That's what we have. We have an auto save. I guess it's better than not having a save. Ragusa, th no thank you. Uh, I don't want to get a royal marriage with Ragusa because I kind of want to kill them. Um, royal marriage from Sardinia. You sure you can have a royal marriage? I don't care too much so long as it's not somebody I immediately plan to uh, go to war with sometime in the near future. Like, um, Ragusa was right here. Um, because then it, it, uh, gives you a huge stability hit for going to war with somebody they have royal marriage with. And although we might end up going to war with Sardinia, say, like, 20 years down the road, but if our king is dead, then, um, I believe it nullifies any royal marriages you have. Uh, I don't want you that close, actually. If I leave that unit that close and I, I stop paying attention, you'll die. Because they'll probably come here right after him. So we'll move you up to uh, our capital. 
there's not much I can do about those guys. I mean, I could get a bunch of soldiers together, but it'll cost like a ton of money. Because we're at our force limit right now. And when we take Bosnia, we'll get like, I think, two or three more to our force limit. So we'll be able to, to get an army of uh, like 15,000. And then it'll be easier to take care of them. But we're going to let them kind of run their rampage right now. Because there's not much we can do about it. I mean, we could like allocate just the bare minimum to the sieges and then bring everybody else over. But we, we might lose if we do that, because it's going to be like pretty even in numbers, I like to have a number advantage whenever I go into combat. It's just really hard for me to, to even even just rebels, to go into a battle without the a numerical advantage. Or at least morale advantage. Which we won't have like either, necessarily. I mean, we'd have like same morale. I guess we could get like a better leader, but I don't know what leader they have. I don't know. It's definitely not going to happen before the siege because we need like all our soldiers before. So we need to finish this war. Which is pretty slow. Let's speed it up. It's going slowly. No. Let's see. Who can we get alliances with? I don't think we need to go to war. With yes, we do. I was going to say I don't think we need to go, with, go to war against Hungary. But we're going to need some Croatian provinces. Who are in a mutual, uh, a personal union with Hungary. I was going to try to get an alliance with Hungary. But then I realized I'm going to need to go to war with them eventually. Because I'm going to need like Croatia. I believe. From the other Serbian game. Unless it's uh, different. For Illyria. We need to have Croatia and have a core in Croatia. Uh, so, unless they break out of the personal union before, we really should be, before we can take them on, um, we're going to need to go to war with Hungary, which means pretty much securing an alliance with somebody else. Very unlikely. Mm. You want to be my friend? Um, royal marriage. You better not decline that. You'll piss me off. Um... No, not you guys. You guys don't like me. Uh, like me? Ooh. Poland rejected our royal marriage, but Naples did accept our military alliance, so we're now allied with Naples, our first alliance. I Allied with Naples because I'm not necessarily sure if they can really help too much with Hungary if we ever did go to war with them. However, Naples is in a prime position to become very, very powerful in Italy. Uh, and so I kind of want them to be an ally, and we might be able to gobble up some of this Italian coast if they go to war with anybody there. Take a look at our navy. We got two cogs and two galleots. We should probably be fixing that sometime soon. However, I'm not going to do that now because we kind of need the money. We need to keep our money right now. So I'm not going to do that now. I know we need to build navy eventually. Because we only have two cogs, which means if we ever, you know, got into a war and needed to, uh, um, you know, travel overseas or something, we could only transport two units at a time, which is obviously not enough. I wouldn't transport two units at a time to a foreign war because they'd be gone by the time I could get reinforcements. There just wouldn't be enough there and they'd just pick us off slowly by slowly. So, going to definitely build up a little navy. But now, now is not the time to build a navy. Um, I kind of, I really want to get an alliance with Austria, because they could really help if we go to war with Hungary. Austria could be really valuable. There's not many other people who can be a huge value. I mean, Bohemia, maybe. But right now, Bohemia is at war with Austria. I want to see how this war goes because I don't think Bohemia is going to going to get completely annexed because they're probably too large for that. But I just if they even lose like a couple provinces, that can make it very very difficult for them to help us against Hungary. 
So, I mean, right now I would, but I want to see how this war goes. I mean, if uh, Austria cripples them too much on that war, they're not going to be able to really help us at all anyways. So there's no point in having them because they'll just be a burden. A burden in the sense that they'll probably drag us into wars that we don't really want to be in. And also a burden in the sense that if they're extremely weak and we bring them into a war against uh, Hungary, Hungary could come in here and just collect a ton of war score against them. So, we uh, don't really want to have burdened allies. Allies that just become a burden to us and kind of pull us down. So Milan and Urbino are at war. I think that's going to drag the Popple States in as well. Because Popple States, uh, I think Urbino is a vassal of the Popple States, I believe. I believe. Not entirely certain. Sieges are taking forever. It's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate how long sieges are taking. Because we could really use getting our military, you know, back to deal with these rebels. There's not much we can do about the rebels. I mean, I guess we probably could attack them. But that's not going to really happen. So Naples has declared war on the Popple States. If Naples does ask us to join the war, we will. However... Us playing a role in the war, probably not going to happen because we need our military, obviously. But at the same time, we can only transport 2,000 soldiers at a time. So it's not going to really matter. Um, did we get it? We got a general of some sorts. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't assign leaders. Well, you could be useful for something. How is your siege? You got a little little bit of siege. Um, I'm actually going to uh, not do that. Move you guys over here for right now, just so I don't get uh, so it makes it it makes it a little easier. So we subtract you guys. You guys stay there. You guys come over here. We're gonna pick up the general and then we're gonna come back and merge. Um, I think that's much better than sending the calf to merge. Although it probably was faster, I just don't want to. Uh oh. What I have an alliance casts belly against um, Croatia, Transylvania, and Hungary. That you're not at war with them, are you? Naples, are you at war with them? Oh Jesus, Naples is. Uh oh. We we will not join that war. I'm sorry, Naples. I'd love to. But we have problems, alright? And we're in immediate danger, and you're not. I don't think Hungary's going to sail over here to come and get you. I don't think they have that kind of capacity. They don't really, they don't really have a navy. Yes. Yes. Are you guys going to sit there? No, you guys are going someplace else. Um, one prestige, that's not really a lot. Give me my money. I'll take the money over the prestige right now. I know we're, I know we don't have a lot of pre prestige, but um, oh jeez, really, Ragusa? Oh shit. Well, I guess you're going someplace else, Ragusa. That was what? What? Why would Ragusa join this war right now? Are you going to Montenegro? Are you going through there? Okay. You're smart. We'll, we'll get you. I mean, how long do you think it'll take you to occupy that territory? Combine. Um, detach siege.
Actually, go here. They'll probably get there first, actually. We'll see. I'll stop it if they get there first. I'll pause it and then and halt everything. Oop. Jeez. Oh. You think you're smart? Oh, what are you... Th what's your thinking here? Oh, you're not going anymore. 